I know that there are some of you that would have come up here with us this morning. So I'm taking my daily exercise by coming up to the hill near the red post to see the sunrise. And here we have the moon, beautiful and majestic in that night sky. In that place where darkness would have been. And as we come round and look over the hills, we have the red of the new day that is dawning, waiting for the sunrise, remembering that moment. When Mary would go to the tomb in the mist of the morning. A heart that was sad and desperate and desolate to do that which was right within the Jewish tradition for her Lord for her master, buried so quickly without the ceremonies that he needed, and so she had returned to undertake what was right within the tradition, within their tradition, the last thing that she could do for her Lord. When she arrives, he's not there. The stone's been rolled away. He is not there. Where is he? What has happened to him? Where has he been taken to? And in that desolation, she hears the voice calling her. The voice of her Lord calling her. And she doesn't recognise him until he calls her name. She thinks he's a gardener. Somebody who works within this place. Then she says, Master, Master, it is you. It is you. And in this dawning of a new day, a heart is changed in an instant from that place of utter desolation to the place of joy and happiness and bewilderment. And Bewilderment that he could be here, that he could be alive, that he's not dead. And she goes to hug him and he says, no, don't touch me. No, don't touch me, but go and tell the others that I'm not dead as alive. I'm alive as I said I would be. So she rushes off. She rushes off to tell them, I have seen the Lord. I've seen him. Come quickly. They, of course, don't believe her, and so they rush to find him for themselves and discover it is true that their Lord has indeed risen. So a living God this morning begins in darkness and the dawn 
rises quietly. Come, God, arise, bring the sun from its slumber and Jesus from the tomb and greet us on this morning of mystery and hope. Amen. Rejoice, there is great news, for Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let all the earth proclaim the joy, and let all heaven bring forth in praise. Alleluia. Alleluia. He is risen. So if you want, you can join in singing the Easter hymn with me. Jesus Christ is risen today, Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day, Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross, Alleluia, suffer to redeem our loss, Alleluia. Hymns of praise then let us sing, Alleluia. Unto Christ our heavenly King, Alleluia. Who endured the cross and grave, Alleluia. Sinners to redeem and save, the pains which he endured, Alleluia, our salvation have procured, Alleluia, now above the sky he's king, sing Alleluia Sing we to our God above Alleluia Praise eternal as his love Alleluia Praise him all you heavenly host, Alleluia, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Alleluia. So as the sun rises, Lord Jesus, we greet you risen from the dead, victorious over sin and death, over suffering and shame, over all evil and wrong. Lord Jesus, we greet you, risen from the dead, overcoming by the power of love, by patient trust and perseverance, by faith in God alone. Lord Jesus, we greet you, risen from the dead, proving that nothing can separate us from God's love, showing us how far that love will go and suffering for the sins of the world. Lord Jesus, we greet you, risen from the dead, and we offer you our thanks and our praise, our prayers and our worship, our devotion and our service. Amen. Your light is the only light we need as we travel through life's mystery. Your word, the only voice we hear. 
that still small voice that leads us to the place where we should be. Your presence is the only company we need as we walk this narrow road. Your fellowship, the warmth we crave to help us on our way. May the truth of Easter, the joy of Easter and the blessing of Easter be with us all this day and forevermore. Amen. Go now as God's chosen witnesses to testify that Christ has been raised and that we are raised with him. Set your minds on the things of God and do not be afraid for your life is safe with Christ in God. And may God raise you from all that would entomb you and may Christ Jesus be your life and may the Holy Spirit empower you for all that is good. Amen. What a glorious sunrise that it is. So beautiful and so delicate. This Sunday, like any other Sunday, and yet this Sunday like no other, mirrors that Sunday when the world was turned upside down as the Son of God came to walk with us came to show us that he had victory over death, came to show us that there is life for eternity.